Hi, welcome to our show, Homeopathy and Sciences of Healing. We're very excited about this show. We're going to be talking about blood-based nutrition, how to do nutrition based on objective scientific evidence. I'm Dr. Cyrus Thomas. My guest is Janara Iman. She is a clinical nutritionist and is going to be helping to bring this topic out so that you can understand it. Give me a question. Hello. <laughs> I would like to know why you would use science-based nutrition over some other kind of nutritional evaluation. Well, science-based nutrition means that it's being done according to blood analysis, urine analysis, and hair analysis combined. Um, you know, most uh, blood test companies um, base their normal ranges on the last hundred people who had that test done. Uh -huh. Those people are sick. Right. It's not a very good range mm -hmm. to rely on. And so um, other ranges have been uh, uh, discovered by a large group of chiropractic physicians who are doing all of their nutrition based on blood analysis. And when I say blood analysis, it's always including urine and hair as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so their normal ranges have been changed. Right. They never do small profiles either. They do large profiles. So they catch things that other mm -hmm. doctors don't catch. Right. So, yeah. so in other words, they're looking for a different marker range. Yeah, they're looking for a different range of normal. Now they have okay. three ranges. There's a normal range, then there's one of concern, and there's one that's a code blue. And okay. when a person gets a range that's so far out that it's a code blue, you're actually saving that person's life when you put them on a nutritional program to bring those numbers back to normal. Now you're talking about a code blue in regards to science-based nutrition, correct? Yeah, for example, okay. if we look at these, if we look at this blood test, this is the um, patient's last blood test we can bring on uh, camera four, maybe, and um, take a look at this. We've got yellow, blue, and red here for their blood tests. These were their previous blood tests over here. So we're following this person every month or two with a new blood test to see what kind of results we can get. And you can see that at present, um, there's only a few yellows here, one red. Okay, they've, they've made a remarkable improvement. And I have some case histories that I want to talk about here today, too. They did. They've so, got a lot, a lot yeah. less blue. So, for so, example, on the hair analysis, we, hair analysis, we see an improvement there, too, where they had blues or code blues over here. And as time went by, things balanced out more. Um, so, for example, we have a person who uh, had Alzheimer's in four months. Their memory had improved, their anxiety and stressors was reduced, they were able to concentrate, their sense of humor had returned, um, there was no, they were no longer depressed, and they were more animated. Those are good signs of health, don't you think? I would think so, and, and especially if you're basing those on ranges that are optimal ranges of normal. Right. Because you, you, when you were talking about code blue, I was thinking if you're basing these test results on the low range of normal blood testing, which are from people that are sick, their code blue could be hospital, right? Versus them walking into the door. Right, and, and you can't tests. always yeah. base how you're doing health-wise on how you feel, right? Because we all have heard the story about John. He was feeling great, and he was dead in a day. Well, John can be feeling great, come in, and he's got tens of reds and blues in his blood and urine and hair analysis. Another patient with breast cancer, in just two weeks, the tumor, um, the, the, the tumor marker um, 2729, CA 2729, yeah. had dropped 106.9 points. Patient refused chemo and radiation therapy due to the outstanding results she had gotten before she was to go to chemo and radiation. Her blood pressure showed improvement, and an update of her CA 2729 eventually dropped to 19.5, oh, which is yeah. a very healthy range. So let me ask you this. What if you come in just for a normal te checkup? 
How would you check for inflammation markers if someone says, hey, I feel fine, I'm just coming in for my regular yearly checkup? Yeah. When there's inflammation, of course, it's usually caused to too many carbohydrates in the diet, causing inflammation all over the diet. We're going to see that in an ESR, uh, erythroc erythrocyte sedimentation rate. We're going to see it in a C-reactive protein. Right. They're going to be here. There's no way you're going okay. to miss that. But the person who's feeling a lot of chronic fatigue mm -hmm. is going to have usually some heavy metal toxicity. Right. That's going to show up normally in the hair. Now, I... I Strangely enough, in autism and other autoimmune diseases, ADD, um, 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 uh, I could refer to my list here, they don't show high levels in the hair. They're so sick, they can't wow. even get rid of the heavy, heavy metals through the hair. Yeah. So when you don't see them there, and you should, you're dealing with somebody that's pretty severely sick. Now, you can do a DMN, uh, DMSA challenge where they... Uh, consume a substance that makes heavy, heavy metals leach out of the, the urine. Another one can be done to take it to make it leach out of the stool. But you do the challenge and you can see if they've got it because if they've got it, that'll make it come out of the urine. You can't do that with really sick people though. Yeah, you don't want to challenge want the kidneys when they're, when they're feeling uh, yeah. really bad. So you have to do other things first. Okay. But the first thing you want to do is balance the blood chemistry. The body starts healing itself as soon as you do that. Um, a, a person came in with Crohn's disease, and within three months, their digestion was under control. They had no nausea. Fingernails were healthy and strong. Dermatitis was gone, and they had increased energy. Diabetes. Some 40% of the population is either pre-diabetic or diabetic, and they don't know it. So we don't just test for, for glucose in the blood, for sugar. We also test with what's called... Um, uh, and hemoglobin, hemoglobin C1. And it shows you how much sugar is on the red blood cell. It turns out to be a much more sensitive marker for especially pre-diabetics. When the person gets their blood, their hair, and their urine done, all of this data is, is, is brought to a centralized computer that um, looks at the medications that they're taking, generates a report that... Um, um, makes suggestions in not only supplementation to take, but dietary changes to make, nutrition, uh, um, I'm sorry, exercise programs to go on, tells them the danger of the medic pharmaceuticals that they're on and any interactions that might be taking place with the, the pharmaceuticals they're taking. Eventually, the patient will take themselves off the medication. We don't take anybody off their pharmaceuticals or okay. even their bioidentical hormones. They will start to feel better and take themselves off of it. So that's a sure indication of the body healing itself. Once you're giving it the right tools and you know what those right tools are, and you've looked at all the indicating markers for, for what those could possibly be and the program's all set out, the person begins the program, they begin to incorporate the nutrition, the lifestyle, and, and can continue on their medications until pretty soon they're starting to feel better and they say, hey doctor, um, you know, I'm wondering if you could check me. I don't need this statin drug anymore, perhaps. One of the worst drugs there is is the yeah. statin drug, absolutely. And they'll start, they'll take themselves off it in time. You don't have to recommend that okay. they do it. And then, of course, a uh, uh, supplement program is designed, number of pills per day. Okay. That's all done for you by the computer. That's all done based by, on well, yeah, but we don't want to say a computer figured this out. This no, but computer based was on written by hundreds and hundreds of doctors who are participating in this program. Okay. So this is the accumulated knowledge and wisdom of many practitioners. And really, in this country right now, chiropractors who are doing a lot of nutrition are on the cutting edge of, of health care because they're doing it better. They're doing it more safely. They're using ranges that make sense, that really tell us how a person is doing or not doing. So how would you look at cholesterol in a, in a situation like this? Cholesterol and triglycerides should be about 200. And, but you know, cholesterol is a very slippery substance. I totally And one understand. of my favorite nutritionists- I just wanted to get that in my, there. <laughs> one of my favorite nutritionists wants his cholesterol to be at 300. I know. So we can't believe everything we've heard about cholesterol. Well, also, There's a lot of hype around it. And the hype is based on selling statin drugs. Yeah, I understand that because even in LDL, there's 
there's a, actually a good LDL and a, and a not so good the LDL. The low density lipoprotein. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and one type of low density lipoprotein actually helps you make hormones. So we don't want to give you anybody. Need fats to make you, hormones. Need, you need fats to make hormones. So we've got these. We, cholesterol is nature's band aid, and it just depends on how it's acting in the body. So once again, we come back to how can we support the body in how in how we're testing. So yep. tell me a little bit more about about why this is different when somebody comes to you, a patient walks in your door, and you you're giving them, you know. Uh, blood analysis and hair analysis, why is that different than if they go to Dr. So-and-so and say, I want a blood analysis and a hair analysis? Well, usually go, if they go to their medical doctor instead of a chiropractic doctor, the medical doctor is not going to do hair. Correct. And um, uh, he's going to order the test. The test is going to be sent to him, and he's going to make his, interpre his or her interpretation of that test. Based on it's those not going to go through a system that right. it's, has hundreds of nutritionists, doctor right, nutritionists right. working on people, accumulating their wisdom. This is all there for them. Well, I love the idea that it's based on optimal health. Mm -hmm. The normal range is optimal health normal range. So that's quite different already from the average blood test results right. that are going to be compared to and the so, doctor's And so, for example, if calcium or potassium or zinc, manganese, uh, vanadium, um, molybdenum, any of these substances are low, we're going to bring them back up. If they're high, we're going to bring them down. And what to use to do that is already known. So, so how right. easy is this to use? This is, very, this is very easy to use. The um, patient compliance is important. If they're only taking the pills and not making any dietary change, it, will go, it goes much slower. If they cooperate and make dietary changes, and we don't put anybody on diets, by the way. We just teach them how to eat well. Yeah, okay? wonderful. Yeah. Right. We, we show them how Good. to lose weight by eating mm -hmm. often during the day and, and not getting their leptins out of control and always being in a state of hunger and all that. Um, there's many cases that are fabulous. Uh, diabetes and high blood pressure in three months. Triglycerides down to 129. Uh, increased energy off all of their six medications. Glucose level dropped from 274 to 120. Oh this goodness. is in three months. This is amazing. Thyroid showing improvement, and they lost 30 pounds. We don't look for rapid weight loss, by the way. Uh, two pounds a month for three years is a good goal for somebody who's carrying too much. That's very interesting. Right. Yeah. Because it took yeah. a while to put it on. So of course you just, it did. You're gentle to the body. You're nice to the body. You're giving the body all that it needs. And most importantly, you're monitoring this, this, this patient. Every one, two, or three months, right. you're redoing certain tests. You're looking to see if what you did is working. Okay. Thank you for watching uh, Homeopathy and the Sciences of Healing. Um, we have brought many different holistic uh, practitioners on this program. I've been doing these shows for 30 years and done some 325 shows, I think. Um, we're airing Tuesday nights at 7.30, so you can tell anybody with a computer to go to cmcm.tv, and they can watch the show on Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m., uh, the same time as local people here watching on cable. Thanks for watching. May you be in good health.